you know, I think that people, the, the worst thing that you can do is actually sit down and like, try to be creative, right? Because the second you're like, make it, you're, you're, then you're engaging that what we call executive control network, the prefrontal cortex. And it actually is doing the opposite of what you think. I, I talk about, I like, it, I, it's similar to like those, you know, those like thumb traps, those like, you know, my kids have them. If you pull, you get caught in it and you have to actually push in to get released. So it's like counterintuitive, right? The more you pull, the harder it is to get out of it. And you actually have to push in to release it. So it's this counterintuitive where you have to do the opposite of what you think you have to do. So if you're trying to be creative, actually like go for a walk, like do like take in all the information you need consciously and then let go, go, go for a run go, or, you know, that's why great ideas come to you in the shower or whatever. So it's actually don't think about it. And the more you can practice letting go in other aspects of your life, the more naturally those creative flow states will come to you maybe at the times that you need them to come. It's very difficult to be creative on demand, but if you practice the skill of being able to turn your prefrontal cortex down, turn the knob down a bit, you can more easily get into those states and get to these creative places. Um, but you also still have to fill your mind with, because because what creativity is, is, is um, making these divergent connections between idea, you know, ideas, connections that other people haven't made before. And you need to, the more input you have, the more ideas and there are to choose from to make these novel associations, right? So fill your mind with things and then let it go and let your unconscious do the work because it can process much more, many more variables than your conscious um, mind can. But it's not good to be letting go all the time, right? Because that can lead to like lack of impulse control and disorganization, right? You don't want to be in that state always. So there are times... Well, I talk about, you know, and this is what my book is, is, is about, you know, the, the, the fine art of losing control is really what you want is the flexibility, the, the ability to be able to rein it in when you need to, and to be able to let it go as well. And to have that flex, because too much control can be OCD and anxiety and rumination, right? That overactive prefrontal cortex. So you want to be able to have that level of control to be able to turn it up and down as you need it. So you can like live your best life, you know? And so some people tend to be more on the over-controlled side and they need more work of letting go and those kinds of practices. Others are like artists, you know, people are like really let go. They don't have a lot of executive function. They need to find out ways. How can I rein it in a little bit? Right. So I can get like my taxes done on time. 